sunshine beautiful sunshine you're gonna find sauce up so if you have a sauce up tree in the back of your yard your house man you're a very wealthy person you don't need no kind of money just a sauce up tree and this nice sauce of fruit um let me tell you a little bit about this fruit okay I have a story to tell but I'm not going into depth in the story one time I remembered back in the days right Someone that I am very close to had asthma. You hear me? Asthma. And this midwife made that person walk backward to, to the source of tree. And took a nail. You know those old nails like you build houses? And pung it over the person's head. Onto the tree. And you know what happened? The tree died. So I guess, I guess it is good for all kind of stuff. It is good to cure asthma and stuff like that. And this is loaded with antioxidants. So if you it prevents you from having any skin problem, like if you know you're exposed to radiation and stuff like that, and the skin starts to crack and peel and all that, this protects you, right? And it boosts your immune health, right? So people who have stuff like cancer and stuff like that, this will help you. This will help you. Right, this nice fruit called sour sup. So let's go with the recipe right now. Yes, so for this sour sup drink, as I said, you need a sour sup, right? You can have any size sour sup, big, small, as long as it's ripe and it's soft, you see? It mustn't be hot, it mustn't be green. This is a very ripe sour sup, it's soft. You see how it bouncy? It's like, you know when somebody have edema, you press, it, you press your hand and it just bounces back. All right, so let's get to the recipe. You need to have some carnation milk, or if you want, you can use condensed milk, but I prefer to use carnation milk. Okay, with the carnation milk, I'm going to use some honey for extra sweetness. By the way, this is sweeter. Eh? When I open this up, you see how sweet and nice this is. So I'm using some honey. I'm using some Angostura bitters. I'm going to be using some cinnamon spice. Vanilla essence. Nutmeg, of course. You must have some. You must have a grated piece of nutmeg and water. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to peel this and throw it in that blender. You understand? So here we go. So I've already washed the fruit. You know, you must wash all your fruits and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is to take it, the, the thumb and the index finger and just sort of push it. Away from the fruit itself, just push it. Look, oh, it smells so good already. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Look at that. Look at that. And what may you see all that skin? This is throwing in the trash, you know. This is going in my compost seed. You know, I always talk about my compost seed. The plant with little tomatoes and sweet peppers and stuff like that. That going in the compost seed. Look at that. So today, guys, we are making a sour sup drink. So, you know, you know, people complain about sickness and stuff like that. You see, when you grow up drinking this kind of um, stuff, sour sup, guava drink, mango drink, and all of that, when it boosts your immune system, it really boosts it. So this is how it looks like. I could, I could shape it in the, form of, in, in the shape of a dog. Look at that, two little eyes. So what I'm going to do with my hand, my hands are clean. I'm going to push it aside. And look at the inside. Right? Look at this. Hey, it looks, it looks like something fibrous. You want to pull this out though. You want to pull this out. And then 
the seeds. You have a whole bunch of black seeds. See? Black seeds. You want to take them seeds out. You want to take them seeds out. You take your hand and you feel and make sure it have no seed before you put it in a blender. So let's push it aside like this. You take your hand and you take all the seeds. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome aboard to the Andrea's Trini Show where loads of recipe comes away on a regular basis. Good drinks, good food from the island. Basically, Trinidad and Tobago. I bet I should talk some street videos if I can. Just straight up fun. So, I'm going to take out the seeds just like I'm doing here. And I'll be back to show you how I blend. Okay, so after you have gotten all the seeds out from the sour sap, another name for it is Guanabana. What I've done, I've added one tray of ice into this blender. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sour sap in. And the sour sap has a real sweet sort of taste to it already. As I said, it's very healthy, loaded with vitamin C and antioxidants. Right? So protect your skin, protect your immune system. So for those of you who want to try this video, try this recipe, just leave a comment in the comment box and let me know below how it actually came out. So I'm going to use one can of carnation milk to this. You want it to be thick and nice and, have it, and you want it to be flavorful also. So what's up drink guys? You put a dash of vanilla extract. You put a sprinkle of cinnamon spice. Sometimes it's hard to come down. Okay, just a sprinkle. The good old Angostura bitters. A generous dash and for extra sweetness put some honey a drink fit for a king guys you want to add some water also probably one cup of water Or should I say, last but not least, you're going to grate some nutmeg. Nutmeg always bring a real nice flavor. Wow. Very drink, okay? So you rinse this cup off a little bit. You're gonna pulse it. So this is the end product of my sauce up drink or guanabana drink. Very tasty. Like my video, comment, share, and subscribe to my beautiful channel. This is Gail Andrea taking a taste of my drink. Mmm, mmm, simply, simply delicious. Simply delicious. I want you guys to try this video. Try this recipe. Leave a comment in the comment box and let me know how it came out. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you will be notified of any videos that I've got up. So see you again with another great video and be safe. Bye.